I'm making this video trying to present you the most important things in life of a SEO. So, start with some challenges. Okay, uh, generally you always need to read a lot of things. Uh, there are multiple things you can do in SEO. I detail them uh, below. Uh, you can do link building, you can create content, you can do local SEO. There are various types of businesses you can help. Small business, big business, e-commerce. You can also do technical SEO data analyst. You can keep uh, relationships with the client. And you can do sales or management. And um, generally you need to be on top of things and generally be informed about uh, mostly about SEO, but generally about the internet things. For example, when uh, ChatGPT had a lot of success last year, you certainly could have heard about it, even though, for example, if you do, uh, I don't know, uh, sales, perhaps you don't need it as much, but uh, you should know about it. Okay. You need to have results. Most uh, actions in SEO need to bring results and this is a big challenge. And you depend on external factors. Uh, Google has its algorithm. Uh, it based on something and uh, you need to be aware of this. So uh, when you try to improve a website and get it uh, on the first page, then on the first results, you want to get to do something, to do an action, but it depends on how Google sees your website, how relevant it sees it. So you work for the client, but in the same time you depend on Google understanding the website better and uh, promoting it in the first places. And also there are external factors like pay-per-click advertising, there are other media of course, but uh, this one for example. Uh, can bring very quick results and while SEO generally takes a bit longer. Okay, some less pleasant aspects about SEO. Uh, there are some difficulties which I just presented. Um, generally, I don't find something less pleasant. Let's see, I would specify for technical SEO tasks, so generally not. Okay, in SEO you can do a lot of things and I, I do, for, for example, doing sales, perhaps uh, not all people have the willingness to do, do sales, uh, but technical SEO is just you and the computer, but some other people might not prefer to do, I don't know, technical SEO and look at uh, the technical aspects or look at numbers, whatever, or create content. So for uh, each person, some aspects about SEO are more likely to be pleasant than others. But for technical SEO, I generally like what I do. Again, this is for technical SEO. So uh, some things tend to repeat. So it's not 100% uh, the same time. But it's also not that different from uh, website to website. So there are some repetitive things. But I, I guess in pretty much any uh, job, any activity, even if you do painting, there are th there is a large degree of creativity involved, but also some repetitive things. So when you paint, some things you do as a repetition, even if you paint something else, there are some things which you do as a repetition. Okay. So, um, how do SEO changes? Let's make it like this, not the requirements. How does SEO evolve? So, um, about this, I would say that uh, it's generally very hard to make predictions, especially about the future. Um, so it's pointless if you can make predictions about the future, of course. What's the point of doing any predictions at all? So I don't know. I'm not very fond of saying, uh, telling you, okay, uh, based on so and so years, 10, 20, something like that, uh, Google was in the mid 90s 
1990s okay and now it's so 96 2006 2016 25 years 30 years of SEO something like this so 20 to 30 years of SEO something like that um, a lot of things changed during this time but I cannot tell you that okay based on a change that was 10 years ago I can tell you that within five years this and this will happen and if I can't tell you I, I'm, I'm not very in the mood of uh, presenting you okay this is how will SEO go but uh, as a general rule because you depend on other entities Google you depend on what social networks do whatever there are others uh, it's, not, it's not just you and the computer so you need to you need to be on top of things and read things and be well informed uh, about uh, the the subject some common most common mistakes are the ones that you will make so mostly they they will be particular to your uh, niche i tried in here to present some things about uh, uh, seo i won't go into too much details i um it's very specific to a spe specific field. So uh, if you do build links, okay, it's very hard not to do something that will break Google's rules and so on. So depending on which part of SEO you refer to, you'll do some specific uh, things and errors. Okay. For career paths, you can go either into management or become senior member. These are the most important career paths, and here are some salaries. I won't go. I won't click on them because uh, I think it's a bit of a copyright. If I show it on the video, I'm not sure, but I don't want to look at the website right now. Some general things about salaries. The more technical the job is, the higher it will get paid. And also, the most more replaceable you are, the more likely you will be less paid. And there are a lot of people, at least in Romania, graduating from uh, uh, social sciences. And uh, in most of them, you learn how to write stuff. You learn, learn how to write an essay, how to write a text. But do technical SEO and look at data, so either technical SEO or um, uh, data analyst, this is a bit harder to, to do. Also in sales, uh, you can if you can get results, you will most likely be paid uh, accordingly to according to your uh, to the results you bring. But as a general rule, the more people know to do how to do or can easily learn, your job uh, the more likely you will be less paid so if a lot of people can do what you do you will likely get less uh, money of course seniority so if you're a senior member and you you have management of course you're likely to get more paid years of experience okay but after a, a few like three five something like that uh, it doesn't matter that much so it matters what what results you have for working abroad there's a spe specific uh, information in here so uh, some people look oh look in um, i'm giving a poorly uh, f f uh, fictional example let's say in europe it's uh, thirty thousand uh, dollars per year and in the us they see it's uh, sixty thousand uh, dollars per year but it's a totally different market. It's not easy at all to get a job working re working remotely from Romania or from other European country in the US. It's, it's not it's not an easy task to get a job in there. And uh, even if in Canada and U USA uh, you will get um, you can get remote jobs, uh, most of them are for for uh, people in Canada and US living there and working there remotely and uh, it's, it's not that relevant so uh, yeah they have bigger salaries but if you can't get them why, why was relevant was that important to you 
So if I were to look at working abroad remotely, let's specify remotely, uh, I would have a look at uh, European uh, wages or other places where you can easily get a job without too, ma too much complication. Also, if you want to get a job, consider IT security. It's uh, this. It's likely to get uh, big money and be a big field in the future. How to start? If you're good at people, start with account management. You you can grow from there uh, in various places, and it's, it's it should generally not be that difficult to get a job in account management. So you don't need that many skills. If you want to go to SEO, okay, you can start with junior SEO, but you need either to either of these or both, of course, if you can. So a personal project, do something, create a website, apply the basic rules, get some results with the website or have some minimum knowledge. So you need to know, know some things about SEO. Most people, even if they would want to hire you, they will need to they will need you to prove your uh, knowledge. Okay, if you get a first job, then the rest it is easy. Okay, let's see as a conclusion. Um, I like SEO. I think it's challenging. Uh, learning new things, working with different projects. Always need to read things. It's, 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 I know it's a good field if I know I need to read uh, a lot of things. Um, if you do it for the money, consider IT security. It's, it might be better than just SEO. Uh, don't look at Canada and USA salaries. They're generally uh, not representative. And uh, try to bring results first than looking at salaries. Okay, it's good to know right from the beginning. Okay, I will get in 10 years whatever salary or five years. But uh, try to see which of these uh, jobs fits you better. I will add some things in there for sales and um, data analyst. I forgot to add it. Okay, cheers.